Gotti. <laughs> Kurtz Gaza. Let's travel to the most extreme place in the universe. Let's get it. The universe is pretty big and very strange. Hundreds of billions of galaxies Dude. with sextillions of stars and planets. And in the middle of it all, there's Earth with you and us. Yes, sir. But as enormous as the universe seems looking up, it seems to get even larger when oh, you start shit. looking down. You are towering Facts. over worlds within worlds within worlds, each in plain sight and yet hidden from your experience. Yeah. Let's go on a journey. We'll start in a park about a thousand meters long, enough for a 15 minute walk. Every time we click this magic button, we'll become a thousand times smaller. Please slip into this magic science suit so you don't die and can still see. Ready? Let's go. Oh shit, hold on. Does this count, bro? Is black Gucci? Get my same. Let's get it. The miniature realm. You are the size of a grain of sand, just two millimeters high, Jeez. standing on a blade of grass that seems as tall as an eight-story hey, building. We live in that ant life, life. You're not saying what you. you talk about. A square meter of lawn is now a dense metropolitan that, area. The, the honey, I shrunk the kids type of life. You're not saying. With 100,000 blades or two Manhattans worth of grass towers. From your new tiny perspective, Damn. the park that you could quickly stroll through before is now the size of France. Ooh. Crossing it would take at least a week. Human-sized humans loom over you, four times taller than the Empire State Building, their steps Wild. falling from horizon to horizon. A bee the size of a helicopter lands near you, making the ground shake as its hairy carapace vibrates <laughs> with each wing beat. You try to escape, but hey, are barely able to move. Hey, we throw a hand by. Is so gooey. These hands sting. Before you click the button, air resistance was barely noticeable. But as you're now a thousand times smaller, it's as if the air has become a thousand times denser. Yep. It feels like you're moving through honey. Eee. Flying insects like bees use this to their advantage. Their wings are not made for gliding, but like paddles that row through the air. Scaled up to human size, the bee would outrun a Concorde jet, except it couldn't even take off because it would be too heavy for its wings. Damn. The microscopic realm. Microscopic, You've entered we going the microscopic even smaller. realm and are now less than two micrometers tall, Jeez. about the size of an E. coli bacteria. From Crazy. your new tiny perspective, the park you started in is now a million kilometers wide to you. If you walked non-stop, it would take some 25 years to cross it. It's hard to grasp just how huge the microscopic world is to its well, time. Imagine having a walk somewhere where it's going to take you 20 plus, 25 plus years, bro. The fuck, Gotti? And you can't stop. Yeah, it's crazy. The giant bee that That's was close crazy. a moment ago is now the size of Mount Everest, towering high into the sky, oh, but man. alive, humming, and vibrating. The air here feels almost solid to you. On the human scale, it would be as viscous as lava, extremely hard to push through. Damn. The blade of grass now expands so far you can't see its edges, stretching as wide as Paris would to a regular-sized human. You see valleys that look like dried-up riverbeds, dead patches like deserts, and giant craters left behind by voracious aphids. But if you look closely, this is not terrain. These are rows of individual cells, each the size of a house with hard exteriors like glass shells. Every few cells, there are huge openings called stomata, like mouths, sucking in air and blowing out oxygen. Suddenly, the gigantic bee begins to move. A construct made of rigid pieces that slide against each other, like a suit. Look at him, look at him, bro. You can't even see it. Hold on. A look at him. And little guys, you know what I'm saying? That's supposed to be us right now. A construct made of rigid pieces Crazy. that slide against each other, like a suit of armor. It takes off to escape a drop of water the size of an asteroid that fell from another blade of grass and is now rushing at you at breathtaking speeds. You're done. You Watch brace for impact, way. but instead of feeling a strong punch, you just get sucked in. You try to swim, but the water feels thick and sticky and holds onto your limbs like glue. Air molecules are free spirits, while water molecules act more like social creatures that group together whenever possible. Yep. They pull on each other and create a relatively strong cohesive force that traps you. You can't help it, but you're still moving, tumbling in all directions, helplessly dragged along by an invisible current. 
Floating in this miniature lake are tens of thousands of microorganisms. That's they take on many forms. Viruses the size of tennis bitch. balls float around you aimlessly. Others, like Euglena oxyuris cells, pass you like freight trains. But most look like oily jellyfish the size of a car, sporting long tentacles that act like supercharged propellers. Despite the water That's holding onto them like glue, some move hundreds of body lengths per second, equivalent to a person shoveling through mud at over 600 kilometers an hour. <laughs> However, bacteria weigh so little and water is so viscous that they basically have no inertia. There is no gliding on this scale. The result is a weird jerky motion that's hard to keep track of. Maybe we can learn more about this strange motion if we go even deeper. The molecule realm. Yo. You've become the size of a molecule, just under two nanometers wide. At How your new tiny scale, the droplet now seems as big as the moon to a regular human. The blade of grass it rests on could reach from the tip of Alaska to the end of Australia. And the park is now almost the size of the solar system. That's but instead of mostly empty space, it is filled with stuff. Everywhere you look, there are innumerable God, amounts shit, of mate. molecules and atoms. The rigid walls of the grass cells beneath you are clearly vibrating, rippling with waves of energy. The water droplet contains nearly a sextillion water molecules that are all in motion. Water is actually a storm of right molecules there. smashing into each other hundreds of trillions of times a second. Complex each area. of them is moving at speeds of around 2,300 kilometers an hour and bombard their surroundings mercilessly, sending small objects hurtling in all directions. Mm. This is the source of the invisible current that you noticed when you were a thousand times larger. Scaling this speed up to the human scale is impossible, as a human-sized molecule would be 2,000 times faster than the speed of light. That's wild. All this furious motion comes from heat. Heat is a bit abstract at our human scale, where you touch something. Bro, real quick, to think that we're literally in the middle of this, right? Where am I, 628? We're in the it's middle the size of this, bro. Of the soda. This is us right now, real life, you know what I'm saying? Humanity. Earth. We're here, bro. The shit that this shit above and below us, like, like, more complex than what shit is, bro, is, is, is crazy. You touch something and get a vague heat. Heat is a bit abstract at our human scale, where you touch something and get a vague sense of whether it's hot or cold. Yeah. But down here, you really feel what heat is. The motion of molecules, vibrating, twisting, like and colliding type shit. as if they're inside a furious ball pit. When these molecules lose heat, they move more slowly and collide less often. Yep. When they gain heat, they speed up and smash together with renewed fervor. Temperature is basically the measure of the average speed of these fantastic dancers performing all day. Suddenly, a molecule hits you especially hard, and you're catapulted you're out of the done. water droplet into the air again. Yep. And here, you see something unexpected. The stuff between the air molecules. Nothing. Between the molecules that make up the air, there is a vacuum. On average, a molecule in the air travels for about 60 nanometers, which is about the length of a hockey rink if it were the size of a human. Damn. If we were to compress all the molecules and atoms buzzing around in the room you're watching this in, they would only fill about 0.1% of its volume. 99.9% .9 of the space around you is a vacuum. You just don't notice it. Which also means that every time you take a breath, you breathe in mostly nothing with a yep. few atoms. The subatomic realm. At your size of under two Yo, picometers, it, it gets it gets smaller. What scale the fuck? starts to lose its meaning. A human would be nearly two billion kilometers tall relative to you, so large they could stretch their arms from the sun to Saturn. An atomic nucleus would be the size of a grain of sand you could hold on the tip of your finger. That grain holds 99.97 percent of the atom's mass. The rest. A sphere of influence about as large as the Eiffel Tower from your perspective is filled with an electron cloud. That's basically all the places where electrons might be at any given moment in time. Bro. Electrons are shapeshifters that morph around outside a nucleus, creating a new and vibrating mess of different shapes with every new moment. Unlike the graceful motion of planets, the atomic nuclei are chaotic blurs. That's crazy, bro. Hold on, real quick. Like the graceful motion. This shot right here. Like, just... Just imagine being in space and seeing Earth. Just, just looking at it. That, oh my god. 
that low kick sense chills through my bodies bro just thinking about it being outside of earth in space just looking down on earth like like that's crazy of planets, that's crazy the atomic nuclei are chaotic blurs they bulge roll quiver and breathe they hold back the same energy that powers nuclear bombs and it doesn't let them sit still they twist and vibrate sextillions of times a second. It's time to end our journey and return to... What are you doing? That's it. Stop it. Hey, you're going down. The smallest oh, place. Okay. We yep. have reached the bottom, the border between reality and unreality. The matrix. The scale here is Whatever the Planck length, you. which is the distance light travels in a Planck time. Planck time is the time it takes light to travel a Planck length. Hmm. Okay, none of our models of the universe make sense at scales smaller than this, so for now, this is it. We think that down here, particles bubble into existence hey, and mind. then spontaneously disappear, creating a quantum foam of unimaginable energy. Can we go even smaller? We don't know. It's time to return. There you go. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. We ain't done yet. Keep going. You're almost there. That's why. If you bro. look up, the universe is large and strange. So incredibly large and strange. But if you look down into the tiny and extremely tiny, the universe seems even larger and even stranger. Right. In the end, the perfect place might be where you are right now. Not too big. Bars. The perfect place for you might be where you are at right now, bro. Bars. I'm not saying. Oh, life lesson. Bars, bro. Come on. Not too small. Fire. Fire, man. It's insane. Shout out to science. You're not saying. I'm ready. Where are you going? We did it. Oh, it's like the kids again, man. Right under our noses, there's so much hidden that we never get to see with our own eyes. Entire realms of bizarre structures and outlandish creatures. What a magical place this is. A forest of slime molds, single-celled organisms that work together and form fungus-like structures. But we don't have time to hang out with these calm fellows any longer. <laughs> Now we're in the kingdom of the mighty Tardigrades. Don't disturb them in their death-like slumber. Don't worry though, they'll wake up once the conditions are less rough. Oh, didn't mean to get in the way. Your cells are hustling to keep you alive, coordinating myriads of proteins. This might be the weirdest place yet, with no up or down. Crazy. There's way too much going on, better move on. Now, we're inside one of the parts that allow you to watch this video. The structure of a microchip is so small, it nearly breaks the rules of the quantum realm. Wait, something's happening. Our job, gang. These hidden worlds are all part of our 2023 human era calendar. Ah, uh, calendar, man. W promotion? and promoting the calendar. This time, <laughs> you can join us on a journey through the microcosm. With each turn of the page, you will reveal... 12,023. That's wild, man. But yeah, man, just like, I don't know, bro. This this shot right here of Earth it just sent chills through my body. Just thinking about like, imagining just being in space. You look down at Earth and you're like, wow, I live down there. I live in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's fucking mind blowing, bro. Science is crazy. Shout out to all the scientists out there. You know what I'm saying? Gathering all this information and shit. You know what I'm saying? Never occurred to me that air resistance would increase so much as you decreased in size. Air resistance? Yeah, cause cause it's the same as like going high up in a mountain. The the air gets less dense and you can barely breathe sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Or well, at least that's what I heard. And the and the perfect place might be where you are right now. Not too big, not too small. That's why I love this channel. It delivers knowledge that you can that can fill you with nihilistic despair what does that mean i never heard that word nihilistic nihilistic it means rejecting all religious and moral principles in the belief that life is meaningless what 
fill you with nihilistic despair on moment and then drop some really heartfelt inspiration the next oh, okay i get it i get it i get it yeah no that was a fucking life bar right there but i ain't gonna lie you feel me a lot of people want to be further ahead a lot of people want to go back in time you feel me but my boy what's meant to be is meant to be and where you're at it's 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 a good it's good you know what I'm saying it's good always look forward never go back if you're one of those type of people i've always struggled to imagine what the world would look like at the size of a bacterium imagine what a life line of ants would look like at the size of a of a bacteria amazing video as always i love this channel the animation the peacefulness the information the humor the honesty just a good channel all around yes sir bro uh wait it's mind-boggling well boggingly amazing that even with such a limited time this channel provides us with the absolute best content out there w you know what I'm saying? Not bad, not bad. Let me know what you guys thought. Life is beautiful. Life is insane. You know what I'm saying? Life is fucking precious. Live it to the motherfucking fullest. And and just just be nice, great, positive out here, bro. Spread love. You know what I'm saying? Because our time is limited. This place we call Earth. You know what I'm saying? That's my reaction. If y'all enjoyed, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.